Hi, I'm Lori Newquist with the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services, and today I'm excited to be here with Hillary Anderson. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Hillary. I'm the Manager of Preparedness and Resiliency at the American Red Cross Los Angeles region, and I'm really excited about teaching you guys what to do during the next earthquake. So, are we ready for this? Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. Today we're going to talk about the three secret tips on being better prepared, why it's important to be prepared, uh, and some of the essentials that you need for your kit. So today we're going to talk a little bit about that. Thank you for being here, Hillary. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. Uh, so I'd like to start by telling you a little bit about the Red Cross. Um, okay, we respond to about 70,000 disasters a year on average, um, which really for us counteracts the myth and the most denials that we face, which are that it's not going to happen to me and it's not going to happen here. With 70,000 disasters a year, it's definitely happening here. Mm -hmm. And there are three secrets to getting prepared for the Red Cross. That's get a kit, make a plan, and be informed. Um, and being informed really means knowing what your risks are. What we learned from the Northridge earthquake, which we're coming up on 20 years here, is that 55% of injuries were the direct result of flying objects and debris. Mm. Uh, only 1% of injuries were actually from building collapse. So what we want people to do is prepare for the most likely things to happen to them. So tell us a little bit about what you have today. All right. So we've got two different types of kits. One is our personal kit. That's our grab and go kit. It's a sturdy container. It's enough supplies for three days for one person. Um, you'll see car specific pieces here. I've got jumper cables, road maps, water, sturdy pair of shoes. And I also have things for my dog. I'm a pet owner. Um, I want to make sure that she's okay in the next emergency too. Um, those are some basic, basic essentials. Then you see our family supplies kit. This is enough supplies for every member of your family for starting with three days and building up to two weeks. You'll find food, water, medications, and first aid equipment, as well as multi-tools, batteries, flashlights, a radio, a hard hat, because it's no joke, flying objects absolutely will happen in the next earthquake, and you've got comfort items as well. So plan for your family and their special needs on top of that. Great. Well, that's a lot of information, and we're so excited that you were able to be here with us and to share this with us. I think it's so important that we are able to be prepared before, during, and after disaster. And for more information, please visit www.caloes.ca.gov. And for more information on how to build that kit, make your family communications plan, and be informed, visit redcross.org. And when the next earthquake strikes, we want you to drop, cover, and hold on.